हेलो हेलो
Yes, participants. And today we will discuss about on the navigating the digital age trend in the online research methodology. First of all, I want to introduce our resource person, uh, Dr. Mansoor Alam Siddiqui from uh, Department of Geography, AMU Aligarh. Dear participants, it is an honor and privilege to introduce Dr. Mansoor Alam Siddiqui, who is our resource person. Dr. Siddiqui is an academician and dedicated researcher in the field of geography specializations in urban and environmental issues. Dr. Siddiqui's academic journeys has been nothing short of extraordinary. He earned journey has been nothing short of the extraordinary. He earned his doctor degree in urban geography from the esteemed Department of Geography at Aligarh Muslim University. Showcasing his commitment to the field of geography, over the year, he has contributed the significantly to the academics world with numerous research papers and articles published in reputed national and international journals. His scholarly work has also been presented in various international and national conferences, seminars, workshops, both in online and offline setting. With over the two decades of the teaching experience, Dr. Siddiqui has nurtured uh, research skill in countless students. Currently, he is monitoring the one PhD student while to have successfully submitted their thesis and one of these awarded a PhD. This reflects his dedication to the forecasting the next generation of the scholars in the field of the geography. Beyond the, his academician pursuits, Dr. Siddiqui also play significant role in administrative responsibilities. He serves as a warden of MM Hall and holds the position of the training and placement officer at the AMU Women's College, demonstrating his multi-phase ability and commitment to the institutions. Dr. Siddiqui has authored a book, published a dozen of the research papers with the two more accepted for publications and has presented his work at 15 national and international conferences. Additionally, he has been actively engaged in the conducting field survey for two major projects, highlighting his practical expertise in the field of geography. The Bharat Digital Academy is organized a one big national workshop on advances in research methodology, which is 26 to 30 September 2023. On that day first, we will discuss about the navigating the digital age trend in the online research methodology. I requested our resource person kindly enlighten us and start his lecture on topic navigating the digital age trend in online research methodology. Yes, sir. Thank you. Sir, over to you. Yes, sir. Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much, uh, uh, Mr. Mohammad Rafiq Sahab. First of all, I pay my sincere thanks to Bharat Digital Academy, who are playing a very good role and making this platform for all of us. Such platforms are required, and such platforms are going to help us a lot because such type of programs are going to decide our future course, how we are going to proceed research. The topic, uh, today's topic is given to me, navigating the digital age trends in online research methodology. Uh, something I want, before starting this topic, I would like to highlight some of the things uh, because I am associated with teaching and research and outreach since long time. And uh, recently, one of my scholar also joined uh, Noida International University as a permanent lecturer. And uh, almost four PhD awarded during last two years. <clears throat> and two more are going to be submitted soon. 
and I am very proud for my scholar. These scholars are doing a great job. While doing research work, both supervisor and a student or a scholar, they should have a mutual understanding first. Research will require devotion. Research requires a lot of command over the subject matter. Review of literature is one of the important aspects. It's my request to each and everyone, try to have a clear cut idea about your topic and then you should have a command over the literature also. Because research is passing through various phases. Earlier we are having traditional mode of research. Now with the pace of time, things are changing. And technology, we are utilizing technology in now in a much better way. So we should have some sort of mix uh, methodology. <clears throat> so we are going to see whether this uh, digital age is good, is, go is going to give you better chances for doing research or authentic research. So many issues are there. It's not only using technology, but its applicability, its authenticity. You know, with the advancement of the technology, so many things are happening side by side. Some people become so expert, so smart. They are involved in large scale of plagiarism also. So this is, it's not only switch over to just have a better command utilizing uh, um, computer or internet or uh, uh, various apps available which are going to help us. But it is also a question of ethics and morals also. When we talk about in academics, more priority should be given to ethics and moral. And we see that some people are utilizing technology in one way or the other for in some good way also and some in another bad way also. So all these things we are going to see one by one. All are here learned people and they are very familiar. So I'm going to just highlight uh, some of the salient feature, why digital age is so important and why we should also change the research methodology with respect to time. So starting my first slide. As we know, uh, research methodologies serve as a guiding compass for researchers, leading them on a journey of discovery and knowledge. The field of research methodology is constantly evolving, driven by advancement in technology. And there are certain societal needs also, which uh, uh, force us to do research and quest for more robust and effective research practices. From the integration of mixed method to utilization of artificial intelligence and the embrace of open science, we dive into the exciting frontier that researchers are venturing into. So the uh, research is, uh, uh, is a holistic approach. It's not only your uh, confinement to one topic itself, you have to take into account so many other things. Uh, as already discussed, technology should be used, but keeping in mind uh, with the society also, and we should try to utilize uh, our research finding for solving the societal problem also. So various uh, methods uh, earlier utilize, uh, the foremost is mixed method research. The traditional research method often focus solely on either quantitative or qualitative approach. <clears throat> we know quantitative, basically, uh, quantitative is basically outcome of all surveys and questionnaire. And qualitative requires so much of observation and analysis also. However, the trend of mixed method research is gaining momentum. By combining both quantitative and qualitative data collection and analysis technique, researchers can gain a more comprehensive understanding of complex research question. This integration allows for a deeper exploration of the phenomena, providing a holistic perspective that's yield richer and more nuanced insight. 
so this is one of the good idea okay we should uh, incorporate uh, our traditional mode also and the modern walls so nothing wrong in it then we have big data analytics in today's data driven world the volume variety and velocity velocity Yes, velo velocity of data are growing exponentially and researchers just a minute, sorry. Just a minute, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Velocity of data growing exponentially. Researchers are increasing, leveraging big data analytics to extract meaningful insight. <clears throat> the volume of data is uh, tremendous and we have to explore out of so much of data. Uh, we should uh, find out the techniques just to narrow down the big data to the uh, pointed one. By employing advanced uh, analytic techniques such as machine learning, algorithm, researchers can identify patterns, uncover correlations and generate valuable insights that were previously inaccessible. Big data analytics has the potential to revolutionize research across various domains, including healthcare, finance and social sciences. And for a country like us, uh, with so much of uh, population, uh, while we are dealing with healthcare and finance and social sciences, Always data is so bulky and we have to find out ways how to narrow down and how to be very productive. Then uh, another is, uh, one minute, Re reproducibility and open science. Transparency, reproducibility and open sharing research method, data and finding are gaining prominence in the research community. This trends promote scientific integrity, collaboration and advancement of knowledge. Researchers are encouraged to provide detailed documentation of their research process, share data sets and publish uh, preprints. The open science movement fosters transparency, enables scrutiny and replication and enhance the credibility and reliability of research finding. That is very important. Whatever research we are doing, we should uh, have a uh, better hold on uh, what kind of finding we are going to have in the last uh, then we have ethnographic research. Basically, everybody familiar ethnography refers to uh, all uh, ethnography research involves immersing oneself in the natural setting where social and cultural phenomena occur. Researchers spend extended period observing, interacting, and conducting interviews to gain on in depth understanding of the subject under study. The qualitative research method allows research to, to capture the complexity, context, and the new sense of social interaction. Ethnographic research provides valuable insight into diverse communities, facilitating cross-cultural understanding and informing policy and practices. These are some of the thrust area we are utilizing. Now we come to the uh, the current one uh, the uh, we, uh, on which I am going to focus right now. That is digital research method. We are going to take an in-depth view also. The digital revolution has opened up new avenues for research. D digital research method utilizes digital tools, online surveys, social media data, and other digital sources of data collection and analysis. These methods offer opportunities for large-scale data collection, real-time monitoring, and engagement with diverse population. Digital research methods also enable researchers to study online phenomena, such as social media behavior, online communities, and digital platform, providing unique insight into the digital landscape. We are going to see this topic uh, in our further slide also. These are certain thrust areas of the research. 
with which uh, most of the scholars are associated. Then uh, recent one that is artificial intelligence in research. AI is transforming the research landscape. Researchers are harnessing the power of AI technique, such as machine learning, natural language processing, and computer vision to automate data analysis, extract insight, and assist in decision-making process. AI algorithm can process vast amount of data, identify pattern, predict outcome, and generate hypothesis, augmenting the capabilities of researcher and opening new avenues for exploration. So this uh, AI has become very powerful tool now and most of the researchers are uh, working hard on it. Then replication uh, studies. Replication studies uh, play a vital role in research methodology by validating and verifying previous research findings. Replication enhances the robustness and reliability of research outcome, ensuring the validity and general ability of research finding by independently repeating studies. Researchers can confirm, challenge previous results, contribute to the cumulative knowledge base, and identify factors that may influence the reproducibility of research finding. So you can work on whatever thing you have already done. You can replicate and you can amalgate and put your new idea. Then participatory research. Participatory research involves active collaboration between researchers and the communities or the individual being started. It emphasizes the involvement of stakeholders throughout the research process, empowering them as co-researchers. Participatory research recognizes the expertise and knowledge held by community members, facilitating the co-creation of knowledge, addressing community needs, and promoting social change. <clears throat> This approach ensure research outcome are relevant, ethical, and beneficial of the community involved. Then we have data visualization is an effective tool for uh, communicating research finding in a visually compelling and accessible manner with the increasing complexity and volume of data. Researchers are using visual representations such as chart, graph, infographics. Infographic refers to use of charts and pie charts and other things. And interactive visualization to present complex information in a digestible format. Data visualization enhances understanding, facilitate data-driven decision-making, and enable research to communicate their findings to diverse audience effectively. Then we have lastly, that is your longitudinal studies. These involves collecting data from same individual or groups over an extended period. This approach allows researchers to examine changes, trends, and developmental trajectories over time. Longitudinal studies provide valuable insight into the dynamics of various phenomena such as human development, health outcome, and societal change. By observing and analyzing data longitudinally, researchers can identify pattern, casual relationship, and long-term effect or that would be challenging to capture with the cross-sectional uh, studies, including your climate change and everything. You have to be continuously watching what's going on, what are the trends, and these trends are going to decide your future uh, course. Okay? So now we come to the main uh, topic that is uh, navigating through the digital age. How can you conduct research in digital age? That is a question. The digital age, uh, as uh, we all aware, I think everybody knows, okay, refers to the time period in which personal computer and other subsequent technologies were introduced to provide users the ability to easily and rapidly transfer information. So there is a sea change now. Uh, with the advent of uh, this digital age, now we are... Uh, slowly, slowly uh, acquiring command uh, over knowledge. knowledge. It is basically a knowledge enhancement uh, by using the best available technology. And in the modern world, we can call the internet world. So this internet, uh, internet world, yeah, world wide web, you can call. We are all uh, living in a globalization world where the uh, we are having a single village. And uh, now we are easily capturing and acquiring 
information or dissemination of information is also become widespread. The information age also called the computer age, the digital age, and the new media age is coupled tightly with the advent of personal computer. But many computer historian trace is beginning to the work of an American mathematician, Claude E. Shannon, known as father of information theory. This is a uh, addition for all of us. He is the one who is responsible for initiating this process that is today we call digital age. Now we are going to see what are some of the features uh, which uh, through which everybody get attracted. This include, but not limited to the internet, computer, smartphone, online shopping, social media platform. The information is transformed the norm of human interaction from verbal to digital. Now this word, uh, I think uh, everybody knows and it's the duty for everyone to know what do you mean by digital? Whatever thing we are having uh, in the form of text uh, or in the a textual material that all get converted digitization took place and now we can see everything on a uh, uh, nick of uh, our cursor and we can see so many books by just uh, uh, pressing the mouse itself so, so they they provide you so much uh, at your ease earlier whatever thing uh, we require we used to walk and we should go personally like going to library and searching the books and your uh, research material. But uh, in the digital age, things become quite easy for all of us. And especially for the researcher, uh, we now have a lot of information within our reach. So we are uh, then digital age is very good for researcher. The digital age allow ideas to be sent out automatically, automatically throughout social media video chat and even screen sharing directly it also take part to the next level graphic design and photography have now had technological advancement we have never seen before now we are utilizing ai in all uh, fine art students now utilizing this ai and they are producing much better photographs and now they are bringing old uh, stories and old uh, photographic things uh, in a new version also. So beautiful and so nice uh, uh, things are, uh, they are giving a new shape. Then uh, feature, uh, we are going to see benefit of digital age research. But one thing I just want to comment here, okay, no doubt uh, we are passing through the digital age and may, more and more people are crazy to know some new technology, but there is a large scale of divide also there that we call digital divide. The gap between people who have access to modern information and communication technology and those who don't. So this is a reality. Uh, for a country like India, no doubt we uh, did a great progress, but still uh, there are two world. One world is having better uh, uh, bandwidth and uh, we have all the resources, uh, digital resources available within our reach. Now we are talking uh, and we are, I am taking online uh, uh, lecture and there are there is a different world where we don't have internet connect connectivity itself. So we cannot forget this. These are some of the gray areas and we have to work on it. But India did a great job since uh, last one decade or two decades and we are uh, progressing so fast and now everything become digital this is something very good earlier uh, we used to go for the banks and be always in the queue now most of the uh, business uh, transaction is took place in a digital manner uh, we are utilizing more and more apps and things become so easy what, but what we need is uh, security and careful and we should be very vigilant also then social connectivity, digital technology make it easy to stay in touch with friends, family and uh, work remotely even if you are in another part of the world also. Communication speed uh, enhanced, uh, versatile working. Versatile working means uh, you utilize this digital uh, technology in all walk of life. That is versatile working. We are utilizing uh, in e-education, e-business, e-banking, e, 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 e governance 
सो ई डिजिटल लाइब्रेरीज ओपन रिसोर्सेज सो द वर्किंग ऑफ डिजिटल इज सो वाइड वी कैनॉट वी कैनॉट थिंक ऑफ दर इज ए लॉन्ग लॉन्ग लिस्ट then we have uh, with the digital age now learning opportunities also get enhanced earlier uh, people want to learn and want to read but uh, they have check and balance they have limitations now we are having free resources so this great opportunities for the uh, present ge generation research scholar they should uh, utilize uh, i remember uh, when i was doing research under professor abalakshmi singh so uh, i used to go to so many cities uh, for collecting uh, data and i used to take xerox copy while going to hutko library in uh, uh, new delhi then going to usmani university going to uh, in aligarh also so many offices there government offices i used to take a xerox copy of my research material which uh, i found uh, very good for my research but now everything is digitized whatever data you want from the government you can uh, access it very easily by going through links and uh, links and uh, they also provide a pdf also so in various format you can access data that was not the case at my time so you are all so lucky and you have to utilize uh, these uh, betterment and uh, produce good quality research also so digital age is also responsible for information storage then uh, we have better uh, editing uh, things also we can edit uh, very frequently also suppose uh, you have post uh, one thing in your media and later on you realize there is something more to be done then you can edit in between your post itself so these are the things uh, uh, which are very very good for uh, all of you but uh, research is a vital skill in the digital age whether you are a student professional or a curious learner with so much information available online how can you find evaluate and use it effectively and ethically uh, you see this is a uh, right side we have a diagram which shows data literacy that is reading data working with data communicating with data so uh, we should uh, try to learn technique by which uh, we utilize uh, the data that is uh, in uh, bulky form and uh, we can shape the data in our own desired way whatever thing we want we now have so many apps and technique by which we can uh, utilize the data in uh, best possible way in a very smaller time for our utilization then conducting research in the digital age offers a wide array of tools and resources that can significantly streamline and enhance the research process then uh, something relates to your topic uh, define your topic before you start searching for source sources you need to have a clear idea of what you are looking for a good research topic is specific relevant and manageable you can use brainstorming techniques such as mind maps list or questions to generate and narrow down your topic you can also consult background sources such as encyclopedias dictionaries or textbook to get an overview of your topic and identify key terms and concept so these are the things which are available so you should be very choosy and you should uh, have a better framework before going for your further research choose your sources depending on your research purposes and audience you may need to use different types of sources <clears throat> such as books articles website podcast videos or data set you can use online catalogs database search engine directories to find sources that match your topic and criteria however not all sources are equally reliable accurate and credible you should apply critical thinking skill and use evaluation criteria such as authority currency coverage objectivity and quality to assess your sources here i want to request all of you 
के वाइल मूविंग इन योर रिसर्च यू शुड बी वेरी वेरी केयरफुल वाइल कोटिंग एनीथिंग इन योर रिसर्च वाइल यूटिलाइजिंग द सोर्सेस यू शुड बी वेरी केयरफुल बिकॉज इन डिजिटल वर्ल्ड मोस्ट ऑफ द फाइंडिंग एंड थिंग समटाइम क्रिटिसाइज because the sources used are not a very authentic one now so many authentic uh, sources and repositories are there that is uh, given by government itself like shodh ganga is there you can quote that shodh ganga and other government uh, agencies uh, links also so you should be very very careful while giving the source also organize your information once you have found and selected your sources you need to keep track of them and organize them in a way that makes sense of your research you can use citation management like uh, zotero mandalay or endnote to store manage and cite your sources zotero is very good whenever you people find time try to do some course on zotero because zotero is going to give you a better help and a better idea a uh, good citation is there and uh, you can uh, you can organize your work whatever work we have earlier in a haphazard way zotero is going to help all of you same is true with the one note also you can also use one note taking tool uh, that evernote one note or google keep google keep is also there google google uh, people are also doing great job uh, for the researcher to record summarize and synthesize your information you should always cite your sources properly and avoid plagiarism that is very important and i used to focus on it because plagiarism is going to jeopardize your uh, reputation also once uh, organization find out that uh, you are um, writing a paper or writing a book and uh, using unfair means so you are going to be uh, pointed out and whenever you are going to search some further uh, uh, tools uh, so there are some automatic uh, beeps are there so some organization are going to already Uh, make a sense and you are going to be blacklisted so avoid uh, all those things and uh, whenever you are uh, when whenever you write a book or a paper so you should go for uh, plagiarism check there are certain software i am going to discuss in this lecture also so you should uh, keep a watch on it organize work use management tool like zoreto and mandalay i discussed just now zoreto as uh, we just uh, discuss is an open access this is all uh, no charge is there you just uh, download it and learn it you can uh, take tutorial also that is a very um, in uh, friendly user friendly app easy to use reference management tool that serve as your personal research assistant and help you collect organize uh, cite and share your research sources Zotero allow you to save references from library categories, research database, and the web. The same is true with the Mandalay also. Mandalay is a reference manager and academic social network that can help you organize your research, collaborate with others online, and discover the latest research. Use Mandalay to automatically generate bibliographies, collaborative easily, and with other researchers on it. i am going to request uh, rafiq sir also to provide uh, uh, some uh, online or, or provide some workshop on these two zotero and mandalay also i am going to talk uh, rafiq sir okay uh, do uh, to please loop uh, this aspect also so that our researchers get benefited then come to the open access as i already told you now the researchers have uh, freedom you have a lot of material available and uh, you try to choose the authentic one as i just discussed open access means free access to information and uh, unrestricted use of electronic uh, resources for everyone any kind of digital content can be oa if someone ask you what is oa 
So it is already a digital content from text, data to software, audio, video, and multimedia. Sometime uh, we used to uh, we used to ask for certain uh, concept and everything. So that are all already given uh, provided by Chrome and uh, other uh, Google uh, based uh, apps. So all those are uh, OA, open open access. We are going to see more open access. Then uh, this uh, library is also one open access digital library. Here we see uh, what is the main difference between uh, digital library and the traditional. Uh, in traditional library, we used to collect uh, print collection, but here uh, all resources are in digital format. Objects are not directly linked with each other. Multimedia and yeah, in, in a digital library, multimedia and objects are linked and you can navigate within the document. Scholarly content with the validation process. Here, what happened more than scholarly content with various validation process. Limited access points and centralized management. Unlimited access points, distributed collection and access control. The uh, in traditional library, we have physical and logical organization yeah, correlated. Here in digital, we have uh, uh, virtual, physical, and logical organization. In traditional library, we have only one-way interaction, but here in digital, we have dynamic and real-time dialogue. Uh, something about... Um, cheating and plagiarism, you should always cite your sources properly and avoid plagiarism. Uh, some of you uh, may be interested to what is plagiarism. Plagiarism uh, taking someone else's work, words, work, or ideas and passing them off as your own without any attribution to the original con creator. Suppose if you are uh, writing a chapter and uh, in that chapter you have taken material of any other author working on the same topic. So you can do one thing. You can uh, cite the name of that author in the end uh, in your uh, sources. So that may be authentic. That is permitted also. But uh, you are uh, taking the material and uh, in your uh, journal or in book, but you are not putting or uh, giving the name in the sources of the real author, then that is a plagiarism. In plagiarism, uh, we have different kind of plagiarism also. Some plagiarism example like uh, a journalist quote someone but uh, improperly cites the source. A musician uses part of another musician's song without permission. Such permissions are permissible. You can utilize. No, no, it's not a big issue. But if you are not quoting the name of the person, and if the person uh, see the matter and he is going to make a copyright act, or he, is, he or she is going to go for the copyright act, and you have to be answerable. Some of the important uh, plagiarism are global plagiarism, verbatim plagiarism, uh, paraphrasing plagiarism, patchwork plagiarism, self plagiarism. Uh, global plagiarism, passing of entire text by someone else in your own work. Verbatim plagiarism means copying someone else's word. Paraphrasing means rephrasing someone else. Patch, patchwork paraphrasing means stitching together parts of different sources. Self plagiarism means recycling your own past work. That is also to be taken into account. Your own work, if you are recycled again and again and again, certain uh, journals used to criticize, they are going to blacklist you because you are passing the same uh, paper with different uh, topics and everything, but the content remains the same. That is also a part of plagiarism. Best plagiarism checkers, there are certain software that is going to give you a better idea. Plagiarism checker, software evaluate, submit document for plagiarism against uh, other database. Like in our university also, <clears throat> most of the faculty members, 
are utilizing plagiarism software like uh, i am also utilizing tint trentin that is a very good uh, software and i used to check my scholars uh, uh, work if there is a um, large scale of plagiarism i used to talk them and told them do you have to make certain rectification so that it become uh, uh, eligible for uh, acceptance popular popular plagiarism software include uh, plagiarism checker or software grammarly business turned in pro writing aid writers and qtex plagiarism check.org so these are some of the popular you can in azad library in molana's other la library we have turned in also and then qtex also analyzing analyze your data this is another part of your research, ongoing topics if your research involves collecting or using data such as number static survey you need to analyze it to draw a conclusion and insights you can use data analysis tools such as excel spss or r to manipulate visualize and interpret your data you can also use data quality tools such as open refine data wrangler data cleaner to clean format and validate your data you should always follow then communicate your finding whatever things you are doing it should be uh, come in the open so uh, the final step of your research is to communicate your finding to your intended audience and format you can use uh, writing tools such as grammarly hemingway pro writing aid to improve your writing style grammars and spelling you can also use presentation tools such as powerpoint prezi or canva canva is also very good to create engaging and effective slides posters and infographics you should always uh, follow the guidelines and expectations of your discipline institutions or publications so these are the things you should then your update your skill update your skill means uh, with respect to time you make certain changes uh, that is research is an ongoing and dynamic process that require constant learning and improvement you can update your skill by taking online courses workshop webinar on various aspect of research such as literature review methodology data analysis academic writing you can also join online communities forum network or researcher and learners who share your interest and goals you can also see feedback and guidance from mentors peers or expert in your field because networking is very important what uh, our researchers are lacking they are uh, not uh, making a good network you should be very active in uh, social media platform especially linkedin i used to encourage my student to become uh, join me and you can find out whatever post uh, whatever whatever thing i am i used to do i used to post my work always Uh, because these work are going to be cited later on and in our uh, faculty development program also uh, these things are uh, noticeable and they give our api score also academic performance may uh, these are very very helping so it's my request to all of you to increase your network and try to be in touch with the academic world that is possible by joining certain uh, social media platform especially linkedin i like it it's a very popular platform where you find uh, people who promote research and they are going to be an asset they are going to provide you uh, in depth analysis also you can see their work also because most of the posts are there so do it okay utilize diverse resources for promoting your original research and sharing unpublished uh, database negative research finding and detailed technical methodology research gate is one of the sound <clears throat> i i used to have this research gate app in my mobile itself so whatever a paper uh, um, whatever people uh, used to cite my paper so in that way i also able to cite their paper see what these chinese are doing these chinese people are very clever they used to cite each other paper and that's why they are uh, doing a great job in research communities uh, what in uh, in india what we used to we used to hide our research and that's why we could not able to allow others to see our research and that's why we are lacking behind 
So this is my request to all of you to cite each other papers and try to in touch with uh, all the researchers and the academician. Method X and open access data repositories can be useful tool for moving forward with research that may not be necessarily be suitable for submitting uh, as a manuscript or publication in a peer reviewed journal. Similar services available in the digital age are especially useful for building collaborative research network and can help identify solution to elusive problem encountered while working towards addressing research objectives. So these are something very important as far uh, update your skill is concerned. And that's why we are sitting in this lecture also. Uh, uh, we are talking about digital age and how we can utilize digital age for a better research also. Digital age research and associate problem. I told you in the beginning also, no doubt digital age is uh, providing a better idea and better platform and they are giving you much more information. But some gray areas also, uh, uh, we should be very cautious enough. Authenticating information. Whenever you are doing a little research, following a new story or sharing interesting things on social media, the internet is a never ending source of information. Cyberbullying, cyber security, access internet use, gambling, online hate, online ethics, online marketing. These are the things with which we are uh, confronting. No doubt uh, some things are good for uh, us. Online ethics good, online marketing is good, but online hate, we should avoid it. There are certain gambling, we should not try to be a part of it. As a good academician, we should... Uh, get rid of those things which uh, <clears throat> are going to jeopardize our uh, future also. Because these uh, things are under the eye of uh, government also. Whatever things you are doing as an academician, you are going to be judged and you are going to be, uh, you are going to be blacklisted also. So advantage of digital technology, uh, the connectivity. On the other hand, we have data security issue. On the other one time, on the one side, a rosy picture access to information by digital technology, but on the other, digital media manipulations are there. You can you're not sure okay, whether uh, some part is taken from your uh, only one or two line is taken from your text, and some other stupid texts are uh, used, and uh, that, that they are giving the name of your paper. So something is very very fishy took place also. So we should not be, we should be very careful enough. Yeah, while utilizing digital technology, we should keep an eye on whatever thing is going on. Some manipulations may be there. Communication speed and versatile uh, working. That is one of the advantage. So speed is there. But on the other side, disadvantage also, too much work and work overload. That is there. Then we have in digital technology automation. Everything is automatic. You need not to do yourself. No, no manual uh, interference. Uh, on the one side of disadvantage technology, shrinking job opportunity. That is a very, very important aspect of uh, utilizing digital technology. Okay, we are uh, lacking uh, some jobs which earlier used to be performed by uh, 50 people. Now is performed by two or three people. Now, one another advantage of digital technology, transportation on uh, disadvantage, social isolation. This is also good. We are aloof people now. We are living most of the time in virtual world. <clears throat> we are not interacting with each other. This is some of the drawback. We should uh, come out from our shell. We should uh, make interaction. We should uh, go to the conference, seminar, symposium, try to have a good rapport, try to be outspoken, try to um, bring all those people in your network and try to exchange idea also. Then there are certain search engine which are going to make help to the researcher. Search engine, you know, these are software which are going to help people find the information. They are looking for information. Keyword of phrases, search engines are able to return result quickly, even with millions of websites online by scanning the internet continuously, indexing every page they find. So see, there is a long, long list. Uh, I, uh, we all familiar with uh, Google and the Bing and the Google AOL is there, Yahoo is there. So you, you have uh, so much of choice now. 
Choosing the best Google alternate for your browsing needs, use DuckDuckGo if you are concerned about privacy. This is very good uh, site you can utilize. Uh, it won't collect or store any of your personal data. Try Bing if you want to earn points of your searches. You will earn Microsoft reward point that can redeem for prize also. So these are some of the <coughs> better things. The social networking site for sharing research paper. Like uh, I'm also using ResearchGate. It's a European commercial social network site for scientists and researchers to share paper, ask and answer question and find collaborators. Then we have a Scopus is a large multidisciplinary database of peer reviewed literature, scientific journal, books and conference. Scopus is Elsevier abstract and citation database launched in 2004. They, uh, this Elsevier is having, uh, uh, they cover uh, science also, social science also, physical science also and health science also. Then see the, when we talk about the search engine, see yourself. As far as the percentage is concerned, uh, majority of the researchers and the people are utilizing Google because uh, the Google is having this ability to give you a better idea, give you a better result. That's why uh, the most of, majority of the people prefer to utilize it 85.70%, uh, followed by Yahoo and Live and there are uh, all are having there. Alta Vista is there. Now come to the end, that is uh, research methodology is a dynamic field that continually evolved to meet the challenges and opportunities of the research landscape by staying informed about the latest trend and embarrassing innovative approaches. Research can enhance the quality, impact and relevance of their studies. The integration of mixed methods, the utilization of big data analytics and AI, the promotion of reproducibility and open science and adoption of participatory and ethnographic approaches are shaping the future of research methodology. Embracing these trends empowers researchers to embark on a journey of discovery, pushing the boundaries of knowledge and contributing to a positive societal change. I would like to add one more thing here. Okay, don't be so crazy also. No problem, kid. you are utilizing digital uh, uh, knowledge and digital technology, no problem. Utilize it. But don't be so crazy. While putting uh, ideas uh, in research finding and everything, don't put up too much of research methodology. That is very, very confusing also. And uh, general people are not able to understand also. So try to simplify also. You can use the mixed method. I think it is much better. Okay, we sh you should uh, utilize the traditional and the modern world. It should not be totally uh, modern world. We should uh, still have a faith on our traditional uh, technology uh, where we can, uh, we can quote the earlier scholar works. And uh, we also, uh, it's my request to all of you to read a wide uh, uh, review of literature also. For a better research finding, we should have a command of the subject matter and that command is an outcome of more and more reading. So I think it's sufficient for, thank you so much Rafiq sir for giving me this chance to put up some small, some ideas. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much sir for <clears throat> giving us the very wonderful uh, knowledge regarding this uh, research methodology. So, I request the participants, if you have any questions, then kindly ask. Sir, there is this, uh, one question from the Asha. Mm -hmm. Sir, how we come how we come to know about the data available, there is a authentic or not? Data? Da <clears throat> data authentic or not? Achya, oh. Uh, uh... Uh, I told you there are certain uh, government uh, websites. We should uh, look those. Uh, one is uh, like Shod Ganga. Another, uh, there are certain uh, like um, UGC, uh, like uh, CSIR, like uh, INSA, like uh, DST. So they have very, very good platform. And uh, recently, one more thing is this. Uh, uh, we have one more... Uh, uh, my government, one site is there. 
and uh, uh, there is there is a long long list. You can uh, you can search these uh, authentic sites uh, available. But uh, why I am just emphasizing on it? Uh, like uh, we need uh, city data, like we need uh, ward data. So now most of the data are now provided by government of India in digital mode. Uh, we have uh, one uh, everywhere we are in uh, our uh, uh, Nagar Nigam offices. Uh, we have one uh, cell relates to the, that uh, is going to provide you all the climatic data, all the social data like population data is also digitized so because um, uh, digital uh, the government data give you a better idea and uh, once you are going to present your finding if someone asks you okay, what is the source of it then if you cite the government sources then it is uh, accepted by uh, everyone so that is that's why i authentic one and you can ask these data also die uh, from government uh, agencies itself rather than going to the private uh, uh, because of these uh, private uh, people are used to manipulate sometime data that's why i just warned you okay okay thank you sir thank you very much okay sir thank you so much and anyone any questions regarding to this session or the other is completed yes sir kindly uh, sir <clears throat> kindly Stop your screen, uh, share your screen, sir. Okay, sir. Yes. Where it is? Uh, uh, we are showing. Yeah. Is there? Share. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, any questions, anyone? Pause. Uh, the, uh, the, the share screen button is your uh, screen. Can you pause here? Oh, small. Just a minute. Uh, Asha, Asha, ma'am, actually, sir, uh, sir already uh, give the answer to your questions. I have posted the education can be answer to Asha. If so, you people uh, have any queries and anything, you can uh, ask me later also. Um, Rafiq sir is going to provide you my mail ID and everything. My mail, you just note down my email ID if you people need any help of any kind of uh, sir, uh, these sir, resources. Sir, actually, no, the Asha is not able to uh, She asked a question about the, there is an authentic or not that. She is asking she is asking a kindly answer. Can you repeat it, uh, your answer? Achha, achha. Okay, no problem. I just uh, repeat once more. Uh, do, those got, uh, you just uh, find out the uh, authentic data by going through their uh, uh, link, basically. Asha, like... Asha are, you, are you listening? Asha? Yeah, yes, sir, I am listening. Yes. Okay, okay. Madam, you can uh, just uh, go through certain uh, sites of like DST, Department of Science and Technology. Uh, you can, if you need certain data of science and technology, so they are going to provide you. What type of data you need, it's all depend on the agencies. You have to consult them. So okay, this is sir, the okay. issue. So what is your subject, ma'am? So my subject is the education. I am doing research okay, in education. Okay. So education and my topic are... is regarding creative people, uh, the creativity, the social science. So I, I found there's a lack of data there so, and in the research work in the social science arena. So that's why okay. I need to know. You that are asking, uh, have you consulted this uh, Shodh Ganga? Shodh yes, Ganga. Of, yes, of course, sir. I, I always... Uh, you just do that and you just... Uh, so besides besides I, Shodhanga, anything, any, anything ICSSR, ICSSR, you can um, uh, uh, touch it. Uh, okay. Indian Council of Social Research. And beside this, uh, 
you can also find out uh, these thing on your uh, uh, linkedin also okay, go sir, to okay. the linkedin site and uh, in the search area you can uh, find it that thing also and uh, you write me your topic okay I sir to, i try to find out and uh, provide you more uh, link and more sites uh, if okay, possible sir. because uh, uh, sometime what happened uh, uh, you have to uh, consult uh, certain people uh, who are having uh, better uh, command over the subject and, and our researchers are not able to reach there yes, that of is course, one sir. of the drawbacks so you have uh, those people who already work on it better you should consult those people of uh, that sub, uh, specialist where you sir, are doing research ma'am sir i'm i'm doing research in kushetra university sir okay okay Okay, sir, can okay. kindly you can provide me your email id or whatsapp numbers then i can share you my topic and I want to know about the links uh, the authentic links I'm where i got my data can i speak siddiqui 9319 si double di qui 9319 sir kindly kindly write down your email or phone number and the chat box okay okay chat box just a minute my screen is basically is not expanding. I don't know what happened. Show is small active and I just uh, yes, now it's okay. Yes. Can I go for note? You know, yes. note is chat, there. Chat, 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 yes. chat. Yes. Yes. where to start the white box or more. Chat, 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 chat. Chat. Uh, actually, this one, right, right. Okay. So I uh, give my email ID and WhatsApp number S I D D I Q I nine three one nine at the rate of gmail dot com. I provide you people who are uh, having command over these topics. You just write me to uh, uh, give me your uh full topic so that i provide you nine four five zero eight double seven one three is my whatsapp number you can contact on it also so these are the things uh but you have to go for uh, uh, review of literature because um, if you have a command over review of literature then your uh, study is going to be better one Sir, actually, I, I studied lots of some type somewhere. Ah, uh, the question is about actually the I got the review of data in the science field most of, and mm. I try to do in the social science actually. Okay, I try okay. to lots so of somewhere the when we go for the expert advice, they questions me and around me that's how it can be done in the social science. So mm. that's why I I want to discuss you about my topic and about my research work. So no, no, so you get so much of data, and I know so many people associated, very learned people, doing a great job in uh, education field. Okay, so sir. and try to try to attend uh, some online workshop and everything. Uh, through that, you can get a better knowledge also. Sir, I always indulge in the online platforms. Uh, I I attended. I think most of the FD is in the Bharat Academy. Thanks to mm -hmm. them also. Yes, uh, Bharat yeah. Academy is doing uh, a great yeah, job, uh, and I, very, I feel the... very proud. Yeah. yeah Rafiq sir uh, have done a tremendous job and uh, make yeah. this platform. Yeah. And yes, hope. Yes, uh, yes, huge round of applause from my side from the for yes, this academy. Yes. Yes. Because you know, uh, researchers find lot of trouble, uh, and they are not able to get a better idea. But through Bharat Digital Academy, we are going to start a pool of scholars uh researchers and uh, uh, uh rafiq sir is very uh, doing a great job and in, uh, having invited lecture also so uh, thanks sir uh, uh, rafiq sir uh, for giving me this opportunity this evening and uh, i hope uh, most of the scholar and the students get benefited also okay Thank you. Thank you very much for appreciating our Thank you, Rafiq, sir, from my side also. Thank you for organizing such kind of 
uh, and the providing of such platforms where we are going to yes. discuss with the resource persons, really, sir. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Any questions? Any, any, any other questions? Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. I think okay, uh, uh, there is a no anti question. Uh, mm -hmm. See the tomorrow of the new topic. Thank you very much, everyone. Okay, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.